hello and welcome back to my channel so today i've got another shopping haul for you today is a completely different haul it's not a weekly shop it's kind of all over the place so myself and my husband are actually away this weekend just the two of us and if you don't follow our channel we've got three boys one is 11 one is 14 and one is 16 so they're staying here with my mum and my husband's mum and they're going to look after them and have all sorts of fun this weekend while steve and i go away I will be updating over on Instagram if you want to see like where we're going and what we're doing and things like that. And make sure to go and follow me on Victoria underscore Folger and I'll be updating that whilst we're away. I'm not sure if I'm going to film or not yet, but we are going to do some nice Christmassy things. There's Christmas markets, there's lights. We're staying in a really nice place, so make sure to follow me on Instagram for updates there. So the shopping haul is going to be in several parts, I think, because I've got some bits in Sainsbury's. I've also got some things from Primark and Home Bargains as well. So these are just the few bits that I've bought to keep my mum and Steve's mum and the boys going whilst we're not here. And then I'll be doing a proper weekly shop when I get back because there's no point doing it now before we go. So I'll take you through what I've got anyway. It's a bit rambling, a bit all over the place. But normally I do my full weekly shop on a Thursday. This week I'm just not doing it. So I got some ham. I just wanted to make sure I had lots in so they can make like sandwiches and lunches and things. So I've got two lots of breaded ham. They're going to be having pizzas on a Friday night. So I've got a vegetable one. My mum's vegetarian. Two Goodfellas ones. These were on offer. I think these were £2 instead of three fifty. So I've got a Mighty Meat Feast and a fully loaded pepperoni. I got two lots of these oven bottom Lancashire muffins. They're just really nice as sandwiches and things. And I've got lots of like lettuce and cucumber and sauces and all that kind of thing in the fridge. I wasn't sure what Steve and I were going to take with us. We don't know how late we're going to get there. Um, so we don't know if we're going out for dinner or whether we're going to eat something in. So I bought some bits just in case. I got some of these jalapeno poppers, which were reduced to 169 from 250. I got some extra mature Cumbrian cheddar and some Cathedral City. I think we might take this with us. Obviously, we'll be bringing it back again, so we're not going to eat the whole thing in two days. But if we want like cheese on toast or cheese and biscuits or something, I thought we'd take that with us. This was, I think, three pound fifty, and this one was two pound fifty. They were both on offer. Cheese strings because the boys go through these like, you know, cheese strings. Um, they were two pound for eight. I got a Belgian chocolate salted caramel hot chocolate. This was two pound instead of four. So if you've watched me for a while, you'll know I always moan. If I have to pay full price, I moan. So I'm glad I got that for two pound. I got two lots of these halloumi fries as well because they were 1.99 instead of three pound. And all the boys absolutely love halloumi. So possibly be leaving those for them. I got a butter, just a butter soft salted butter. Two loaves of soft white king's milk. This is only 80p at the moment. I got a wasabi home bento box. And I thought we could take this with us. And then we can just stick it in the oven when we get there. We're staying in like a converted barn. So we will have a kitchen and all that kind of thing. So we've got this. I thought we could just pop this in the oven. So we've got two chicken katsu curries with rice. You get chicken gyoza, spicy K wings and some chilli bites in there. And this was £10. I thought that might be really nice to sit and have on one of the evenings. I got two Alpro oat milk because they were a pound on offer. Some oven chips for the pizzas and they can just stick those in the air fryer. I got some squash and some milk. Then I got some snacks to take. I'm not sure how long it's going to take us to get there. Um, but we're going to need some snacks on the way and we're also going to want some snacks. We're staying for two nights so we needed some bits to take. So I got some honey roasted cashews. I got two of these cheeses. I got a Castello Creamy Blue and a Mexican style chili cheddar. Again, probably, you know, three quarters of this will be coming back home again, but it's just nice to have little cheese and biscuits after we've been out or something. I got some salted dark chocolate almonds to snack on. And then for in the car, I got some jelly tots. Oh, and some poppets as well. So yeah, there's two of us and it's two nights, so we can just share bits and bobs. I also got a bottle of this white wine and a bottle of the alcohol-free sparkling wine. If you like Prosecco and you don't want to drink alcohol, then I highly recommend the Sainsbury's Sparkling. It's £2.75 and you wouldn't know that you weren't drinking alcohol. It's cheaper, it's less calories, obviously there's no alcohol in it. And yeah, we've just been really enjoying it now and again. It just, the problem is with me, when I have a drink these days, 
I just fall asleep. It's like instant. I'll have a glass of wine, we'll put a movie on, and I miss the whole film. And then I'm awake all night. Um, if I don't have a glass of wine, I manage to watch an entire film and then I sleep at night. So it's not so good for me these days. In my youth, I could drink anyone under the table, but sadly, not anymore. So if I feel like a glass of wine, but I actually want to stay up past like seven o'clock, then I try and drink the alcohol free. I also got some pyjamas in Sainsbury's, so I got some Harry Potter ones, these were £16 and it says School of Witchcraft and Wizardry and then the trousers have got little sorting hats and snitches and things all over them so they were £16 and then I got these which were also £16, this two piece set and it says sleepy head and it's got like a, a tie bottom so you can like have them a little bit tighter and look it's got little bunnies and foxes and things all over it with little hot chocolates i just think they're adorable so i got two pairs of pajamas so that is everything i bought in sainsbury's just to keep the boys and us going while we're away this weekend all right so i did say this was a little bit of a random shop so in home bargains i just popped in i got some of these loaded sour cream and onion crisps some of the sea salt kettle chips. I got some soft black licorice, some rhubarb and custard to go in the car, and some of these um, like mixed licorice mix as well. I got some crumpets which were a pound for nine. Two lots of these like heartburn relief tablets. If you take these or if you buy these, the Nexium ones are like seven pound for seven tablets. These were three forty nine for seven tablets and they've got the exact same ingredients in so worth noting if you do buy those often really good price i got some turkey flavoured gravy bones for the dogs some Belvita minis which were 99p for six bags and these were also 99p the little chocolate hazelnut topped ones i got two of the Kenko because this was £5 in Sainsbury's and it's £2.50 in Home Bargains two of the Gold Orchid Lenore this is my favourite scent and I wanted to buy the um, like washing liquid that went with it but they didn't have any so this was 2 .99, and then these were 2 .99. so i got this scent instead this is the spring awakening um so that's a really good price for that i got some food bags so just some double zipper ones and some fold over top ones some batteries which are only a pound which is a good price as well i got one of these beers for Steve to go in his little like Christmas stocking. It is Christmas pudding and vanilla custard flavour stout. I just thought that could be quite a novelty gift. Some seeded farmhouse bread. I also got a large Vimto. Uh, no added sugar. This was £3 for 3 litres. And then in Primark, I have been searching for a coat. I didn't buy a coat in Primark. But yeah, I've been searching for a new coat and one of the ones I've bought isn't as padded so I saw this scarf and thought this would be ideal to go over it. So it was £14 down to 7 It's more like a blanket. It's massive. I then got this jumper that has got a white shirt underneath it. I just thought that looked really nice with black leggings and like knee-high boots. I've got a pair of pyjamas again. These were £6 instead of £12. They're just checked, like checkered with a cuffed bottom and this really nice like pink buttoned top. I thought for £6 that was a really good price. And then just a pair of like the extra thick leggings because I think Primark are really good for those. I bought two bath bombs as well and these were only a pound and they smell really really good. Primark like looks wise are rivaling Lush at the moment. I mean if you look at that, if you took that out of its plastic and you didn't know that was from Primark, it's it looks just like a Lush kind of bath bomb. They smell really nice, they've got the glitter and everything. Um, and this one as well, it's really, it's not picking it up, but it's really glittery. And they had lots of different ones, some were £1.50 and they had almost like crystals in them. So really nice little stocking fillers. So that is it for this week, completely random stuff. But I just thought I'd show you anyway, because I know lots of people say, even if you haven't done a proper weekly shop, please still upload it because we like watching, especially if you're not from this country or you don't have the shops we have. I know that a lot of people say you want to see, no matter how random, even if it is just heartburn tablets and vanilla flavoured beer. So that is it for this week. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you're not already. Leave me a like and I'll be back really soon with another video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram for updates of our weekend away. I will leave the link to that in the description box. Take care, guys.